Hello and welcome to this short flash demo on how to send a batch message and set up appointment reminders for your practice. Today I'm getting started in EMIS, but this also works the same in System 1. To get going, you just need to go to your toolbar here and you can select your initials. And in the drop down, you can select batch message. You can get started just by clicking this blue button to send a batch message. And you have these four options. Today I'm going to get started with an SMS. If you're interested in how to use our self book feature, we have another flash demo on that alone. You can select a template, either one that you've created or ones that we've created for you just under AccuRx templates. Today I'm going to select opening hours and opening hours update to our patients. And you'll see here it pulls in the patient name and the message that you've written. You can also write here as free text and you can add an attachment if you need to. A SNOMED code is added by default from the template that we've created. But if you're doing a free text message, you can choose the SNOMED code yourself. I'm going to add the patient list by uploading a CSV. There are instructions on how to do this both in EMIS and in System 1. Once I've uploaded that CSV, it pulls in the patient information and I have the opportunity to review the patient list. As you can see here, I've uploaded eight patients. Three of those patients have valid mobile numbers that I can text. Five of those patients do not. So I have the option to download that list or I can see the patient list within here as well. I'm gonna click continue. I now have the opportunity to schedule the message either for now or for a later time. I can also stagger the message over a series of working days if I want to send the message in smaller groups. I'm going to click review and I have the option to see the batch type. So for example, SMS, but there's also Flory and self book option. I'm going to send it to three patients. I can view the message and the SNOMED code as well. And I can send the message also. It then pops up as message sent. I'll be able to see the status of the message in the status subject here. I'm going to move on to appointment reminders. So similar to batch messaging, you just need to go to your toolbar and click on the initials in the toolbar. But this time you go to the drop down that says manage organization. I can scroll down to where it says AccuRx desktop and select appointment reminders. You need to set up automated appointment reminders to your patients. It looks at your clinical system and pulls through the slot types. You'll see here, these are the slot types that we've already created. These are the appointment reminders for us and the click set up a new reminder today. I'll be able to choose my site location. So for example, if you work at multiple practices, but today I'm just going to select AccuRx office. I'm going to select the slot type that I'd like to send the reminder to. is a message that's set up by default. It says dear patient and it pulls in the patient's name and it also pulls through the date, the time and the location. You can add an additional text here and you'll also see that the patient has an option to cancel via a link without having to call the practice. This automated appointment reminder is sent to patients automatically 24 hours before the appointment but you can also elect to send it one week before the appointment as well and you also have the option to send a post appointment message. We recommend this if you would like to create a friends and family test and send this to patients 24 hours after the appointment. You can also include other links and other texts in here depending on the appointment type. I then can just click set reminder live and the appointment reminder has been set up. If I want to choose to edit this in the future, I can just select edit. If I want to remove it, I can just click delete reminder. That's it for the flash demo today. Thank you so much for watching.